Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. It's a completely different environment. You're with your friends, but everything's quiet. You can almost hear the saints' hearts beating. I mean, they once were alive, they once were here. DTS really like draws you in and you learn about these awesome saints who maybe didn't always go with the in crowd or whatever, but they lived their lives so much better than all those people that are doing drugs and stuff. You definitely feel the Holy Spirit just completely surrounding you. You're always like taught that God is everywhere, God's right next to you and stuff, but there you can really feel, you know, God's with you, God's right next to you, God's inside you, and you're just overcome with His love and mercy. Who are these people, you know? What, why are they saints and what did they do and how can I be that way too? Realizing that the saints um, are real people that they can come to get to know and to get to love and ask to pray and intercede. I think nothing can take the place of learning about the lives of the saints in our growth towards holiness. We're not going to be satisfied with mediocrity. We want to be messengers of hope. We want to be messengers of mercy. We want to be messengers of Jesus Christ, who is hope and who is mercy. And that's precisely where the Dead Theologian Society will lead us. It's helped me become more aware of my vocation in life, just setting aside the time each week to get to know the faith better. They wear their faith like their skin, you know, and they're like, that's me. And it's like, oh my gosh, you know, a high school kiddo with that kind of conviction and that kind of comfortable, to be that comfortable in their faith? Tell me that's not the Holy Spirit, you know? Tell me that's not the Holy Spirit, you know? And as a mom, I mean, what greater gift could you get than your child wearing their faith this is me. It's also inspired me to get to confession more often, make sure I don't miss Mass, and kind of just everyday things that can just better your life and make you closer to Jesus. They're proud of being Catholic, and they love being Catholic, and that's what I've been impressed by. They're the kids that are comfortable saying, yeah, you know, I'll pray for you, you know. What, what could I do for you? How could I help you, you know? When you can see that someone who has somewhat different beliefs than you is really embracing your faith. And my children want to be here. I'm not pulling, I'm not dragging any of my kids here. I said, you don't have to, but they want to. They can't wait. When is DTS, Mom? Oh, we're missing a DTS? Oh, that's horrible, you know? They're like, well, let's just have one anyway. Let's just get together, you know? I mean, I know that DTS is something that everyone who participates in it truly looks forward to it every single week. It's, oh, you're going to DTS? Yes, I never miss that. You know, I never miss it each week. There are definitely times when I was, like, in tears praying because just having the teens open up their hearts to God all together, it was awesome. It's beautiful. We want them to discover the road to Christ that is proper to them and by considering the lives of the saints, they will discover which road to Christ they should follow. And they will also see a variety of ways in which the saints discover their own vocation. And this will help the young people to discover their vocation. I am discerning a vocation to the religious life um, as a sister or whatever it may be that God wants me to do. And DTS has definitely helped show me um, the ways that I can go about it. It exposes me to the Eucharist as oh, definitely a place where I can hear and listen. Seeing how these young men and women were willing to witness to their faith, and it sort of gave me the push that I needed to do the same in my life. 
you can just see it in the way that you, you watch them pray uh, more devoutly. They have become spiritually uh, confident, and most of all, they are all waving the banner of the Holy Spirit, which is joy. There are different ways of expressing a Eucharistic spirituality, but the Eucharist was the center of the life of every saint necessarily, or he or she wouldn't be a saint. Glory be to the Father. The Dead Theologian Society is just yet another gift necessary for these times that I believe is, is directed by the Holy Spirit. Realizing their vocation right now, whatever it may be, of direction, it's to help each other you know, attain personal holiness. And to the Son. This is another way to help benefit the church, especially the church's young people, because the young people are the future of the church. And to the Holy Spirit. They've all said yes to the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Look out, you know. When you say yes to the Holy Spirit. Look out. Your life is going to change as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen.